Sup, sup, sup. My name is Reed for the UQ Council. Someone requested this. I shit you not. Exodia rises to the council. Uh, actually, two people requested this, if I remember right. And if one person requests it, I'm going to do it. So here you go. Hope for escape, Exodia. Ah, uh, I can smell the salt in the air. Let's talk about Exodia. We have the five pieces of Exodia, the three card card Ds, the triple scarecrow and a triple fader the main point of the deck obviously is to get to exodia so your extra deck doesn't matter but why the hell am i running all this it's just mainly for shits and giggles it really is all right so let's talk about spells we have the one day of peace the triple ups are goblin and the triple pot of duality pot of duality into one of the battle stoppers or to the card card d is good Yu Gi Oh's. then we have two wabakus three of the Legacy of Yadagarasu, three Threatening Roars, three Reckless Greed, three Gift Card, three Hope for Escape, and two Accumulate Fortune. Now, these are the cards I'm going to explain. Gift Card, you need your opponent's life points to be higher than yours for Hope for Escape, and the higher they are, the more you're going to draw. So, you want the benefit of drawing pretty much your whole deck out? Eh, just give your opponent 3,000 life points, who gives a shit, right? Now, Accumulate Fortune... You have to chain it, so that's why we have the Legacy of the Yadagorasu, the Gift Card, the Hope for Escape, and then you chain that on top of everything else. So that's way, that way you can pick up two extra cards on top of whatever you're drawing. And Hope for Escape, for those of you who don't know, you can only activate if your opponent's life points are at least 1,000 or higher than yours. Pay 1,000 life points for one card for every 2,000 difference between yours and your opponent. So play Gift Card, play this, and you're going to be able to draw four cards, as a, per an example. Allow your life points to get lower than that by basically giving them, well, the whole shitload. Enjoy picking up around six, seven cards. So it does get kind of kind of crazy, and the lower your life points are, the better this card is going to be for you. And uh, I don't, normally don't like to do that, but between Upstart Goblin and Gift Card, you really don't even have to lose the life points. You could just draw Exodia. This deck pretty much plays itself. I don't, even, I don't even want to sound like an ass. This is pretty much why I stay away from decks like this on the council. So let's talk about that extra deck for that one person that wants to know why this extra deck is this way. The extra deck, you can do whatever the hell you want to. It's to throw off your opponents so they don't know that you're playing Exodia. Three Dragon Master of Knights, three Five Headed Dragon, three Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, three of the ultimate battle machine and three elemental hero divine neos that is the deck profile thank you for requesting this for wanting exodia on the council i need to go take a shower i feel dirty but keep requesting them deck profiles i'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! council make sure to rate comment and subscribe i will see you later bubble bath time peace